Former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe fired by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Well, it finally happened. Something that was long, long overdue. FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe, a guy who appears to be at the center of the scandal, wherein the FBI weaponized on behalf of Hillary Clinton, in part using that fake news now debunked Christopher Steele dossier has been fired by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Now, many of us, including myself, were really on the fence about what Jeff Sessions would do. A quick recap. Andrew McCabe was turning 50 this weekend, and he had until 11.59 p.m. on Saturday evening or midnight, 12 a.m. Sunday morning, to collect his pension and, and retire honorably, unless, of course, criminal charges were, were levied down the way. But Attorney General Jeff Sessions finally stepped up and did the right thing, and he fired Andrew McCabe before McCabe could retire honorably and collect that pension. Now, there's a lot of confusion around the pension, so let's talk about that a little bit. Typically, when a law enforcement officer is fired, and I'll say this with the disclosure that the Department of Justice has not yet given the specifics on McCabe's pension, but most law enforcement uh, agencies, whether they're local, state, federal, operate in much the same way. And I spoke to a senior FBI agent, uh, excuse me, a senior federal law enforcement agent in a different agency other than the FBI last night, but they're on the federal pension system. And his understanding was, was essentially mine. But again, the DOJ will give us specifics. But here's how it normally works. Typically, when you're fired, you do get some money. You don't leave penniless because over those years, money was taken out of your paycheck and you paid in. You paid into a, a pension fund. You paid into deferred comp, something that's uh, called the DROP program, uh, 401k. Each agency, each pension system has a different name for it. It's a little bit of a different mechanism. So typically, you get that money. Now, with the FBI, with federal service, normally it's 25 years of service or 57 years old. Now, McCabe didn't reach his 25 years of service, so it appears that even to get that one-time lump sum that he paid into and was matched a bit, he'd have to wait seven more years to get that. But it does not appear, and I've never heard of a situation, where the person who's fired gets that annuity, that lifetime payment. Because typically when you retire from law enforcement, you get your lifetime annuity, that monthly pension check, in addition to that lump sum deferred compensation, 401k, whatever they call it, payment. So what it looks like will happen, which is typically the case, he'll get that lump sum payment, but he'll never receive that monthly annuity. And that's pretty uh, significant because that monthly annuity, it would, uh, Andrew McCabe's salary was probably hovering around the $180,000 range, $170,000 to $180,000 range with all perks. Salary alone, that's not including benefits and all those other nice things. I mean, it's essentially at his level, about a $300,000 package. His pension was probably in the ten dollars to $12,000 a month range. That's pretty considerable. McCabe, by all accounts, is in great physical shape. The guy's only 50 years old. He's got another 30, 35 years ahead of him, maybe 40 years ahead of him if he, if he stays healthy. We're talking millions of dollars in lost pension annuity every month. That ten, twelve thousand dollars a month, you're looking at one hundred and twenty to one hundred and forty some odd thousand dollars a year over thirty years. We're talking about some real money here. Thirty-five years, some real money. And so he lost millions of dollars uh, in, in that respect. Alongside that are the medical benefits, the insurances, the life insurances that come with it. Arguably another million dollars. But more importantly, in the short term, the real money in the short term was taken away from him, and that was millions of dollars in the short term. As deputy director of the FBI, Andrew McCabe was facing a very big paycheck when he left service, had he retired honorably. And I'm going to tell you just how devastating financially this firing is for Andrew McCabe on my longer one-hour show, Off the Cuff Declassified, today, right here on The Rebel. I want to keep bringing you this great content every day. So like I always tell you, please help me keep doing that by subscribing to our premium service at www.therebel.media forward slash shows. Also, please go to firescottisrael.com. I'm putting together an in-depth expose on Scott Israel's problems at other law enforcement agencies before he was the Broward County Sheriff. This one is really going to blow your mind. Also, go to your app store, download the Rebel app. Great way to get all of our content. And if you've done any or all of those things, and I hope you did them all, 
Thank you very, very much. As always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all had a great, great weekend. I'll see you tomorrow.